Okay, so so with uh, so topology optimization. So so what is topology optimization? So basically, it's a way of uh, removing material without compromising uh, stiffness. So a lot of uh, Formula SAE is uh, driven well. In the, from what I've seen, uh, it's all driven towards keeping the weight to an absolute uh, minimum. So you don't want to have things being too light because then they won't be as strong. So how do you know where to remove material from so it's not going to compromise the stiffness? So uh, in the past, this used to be a trial and error process. You would have a look at where stresses were quite low and then start removing material. But you've also got to take into consideration, can you actually manufacture that? So it might be taking away material, but that part might be, uh, might be needed. Or it might be an area that you can't, for example, uh, you can't, for example, machine away because it will compromise the, well, not so much compromise the structural integrity, but you just can't make it. So um, there's a, uh, with the topology optimization, there's some things that are inbuilt that help you to, put in that, if you like, manufacturability constraints. So something like uh, like this shape, so it's a little bit hard to, uh, to see, but it's basically almost like a, uh, it's got, if you like, bones running through the middle. So something like this you could probably uh, cast um, or uh, 3D print if you've got access to a, uh, a 3D printer uh, that can 3D print in, uh, in metal. So if you might, for example, create this so it can be uh, machined, but uh, it would be very hard to machine these sorts of pockets in there. So you might settle for it having, um, instead of having all these nice shapes in there, there might be sort of uh, more, um, uh, that might be a continuous rib rather than it being, um, having a hole in the middle. So the same here, this is to, uh, to sort of, uh, spokes, if you like, that are going in between there without that, uh, and not having that space in the middle uh, being a void, so you could uh, quite easily machine uh, machine that. So if we look at the, uh, so this was the bell crank we just did, subjected to uh, to different loads. So this is the uh, the starting condition. So what you what we're looking for here is to have areas of um, basically have all areas of the model having some sort of uh, some sort of stress. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, light blue areas in here, and in the uh, topology optimized shape, there's not very many blue areas. So these areas, which I'm going to circle. These areas have got low stress. So the reason these have got low stress, we had to keep these because we need something to mount the um, the uh, the load lug and spring lug to. So you could probably use some engineering judgment here and then reshape those so they sort of uh, more closely fit what the uh, what the uh, optimizer sort of uh, sort of came up with. So. Uh, to do this process is fairly uh, fairly easy, at least the uh, setup of the simulation. Um, the part where it might get a little bit difficult is when you recreate the um, the optimized uh, optimized shape. That part isn't uh, isn't automated, and it's probably a good thing that it isn't because you have to use some sort of um, some sort of uh, sensical judgment to decide whether or not. The solution that it's come up with is feasible and can be manufactured. Okay, so what I'll what I'll do now is a uh, a demonstration of topology optimization. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a to um, uh, so the part that's shown there in green. It's from a uh, a mountain bike. So we're going to uh, put some uh, some loads on it and then uh, see what sort of uh, shape we can come up with for after it's being uh, topologically optimised. <laughs> 